Today in Nigerian Newswire, the World Against Toys Causing Harm, or WATCH, released its 42nd annual 10 Worst Toys Report. So we bought them. Yeah! Wait, what? It was near impossible to secure a cat pencil or bottle rocket party, so if you have a beat on either, email me or comment below. But we did manage to find a little room in the budget to see why five of these poor designs receive the annual kiss of death right before the holiday shopping season. According to the report, these toys are potentially hazardous. While that may be true, this is awesome. The Firetech bow from Hong Kong based Zing Toys has very clear warnings on the box. Don't aim it at the face. Don't shoot people or animals and don't play with it in the dark. My favorite though, is the warning arrows should not be pulled back at more than half strength. The bow fires mini whistling rockets, essentially a mini nerf vortex. So the first thing we did was see how far and fast these things would fire. Alex, really sorry about your face. Just no idea I could still pull it back that far with a broken arm. No idea. Then, like normal grown men, we set up a G.I. Joe across the office to see if we could smoke him out of the tower. <laughs> We've even used the suction arrows to phase out email in the office. The rush on kid-friendly bows comes from the insane popularity of Hunger Games and every boy, girl, woman, and man desiring to embrace his or her inner Katniss Everdeen. And while I'm still Robin of the Hood, or the guy in the tights, tight tights, I pull back on my Airstorm, the Firetech's equally awesome cousin, and the risk is worth the reward. I bought this thing on Monday, and we'll have at least six more in the office pending Amazon competence by next week. Some of the toys on Watch's worst toy list make more sense at first glance than others. For example, this bright colored smiling hedgehog looks innocent enough but apparently poses potential for ingestion or aspiration injuries because its long hair is inadequately rooted and easily removed. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, ri really? Oh. <gasps> Sold at Toys R Us and manufactured in China, this plush toy isn't up to snuff. Or it is, and that's the problem. According to Watch, the low profile of Radio Flyer Ziggle makes the four wheeled cycle potentially hazardous for outdoor use. And contrary to the warning to always wear a helmet and other safety gear, the child picture on the toy's box is wearing no protection and he looks pretty happy doing it. So naturally, I had to try it out. The product only took me about 15 minutes to put together and I've been ziggling, is that the right terminal? Ziggling around the office all morning, despite the fact that I'm not within the product's 81 pound weight capacity. Oops. And as you can see, the seat of the cycle is only eight inches off the ground. A little too low for me, I guess, but the toy was intended for children ages three to eight. To move, all you have to do is twist the front and wiggle the back and according to the company, advanced riders can gain speed and drift into 360 degree spins. Unfortunately, I haven't even learned how to turn the ziggle yet, but I'm hoping with practice, I'll figure it out. The caster wheels, adjustable seat, padded hand grips, and grip tape for your feet are some of the luxuries of this cycle. And honestly, the ziggle provides a great cardio workout. If the seat was a smidge wider and my legs weren't so long, I'd be ziggling to work every day. <laughs> I like the way it wiggle, not like the way it wiggle. My next toy on the list seems equally unthreatening. But with a cord that is longer than 12 inches, Watch thinks it poses a strangulation and entanglement risk. It has to be some kind of standard Yes. <laughs> 
The toy, manufactured by Skip Hop, got rave reviews on Amazon with its three ways to play. Rock, stack, and roll. And while it does come with a warning that it is not suitable for children under the age of 18 months due to strangulation hazard, the box also tells consumers to throw it away at the first sign of damage or weakness. It's a terrible fate for any toy. Sad day for toys everywhere. I have to sneeze, that thing really does shit. And the true legends orcs battle hammer is pretty tame, really, this, it was this or the SWAT electric machine gun, but that's on watch, I mean, that's on watch because it's too realistic and it's like not really sensitive these days. The Battle Hammer is manufactured in China and distributed exclusively through Toys R Us for about 15 bucks. It conforms to ASTM F963, the standard consumer safety specification for toy safety, but watch says the design has potential for blunt impact injuries. I mean, it's a two foot long hard plastic battle hammer wielded by little sociopaths ages three and up. Look at that happy camper. Nothing but bad intentions. Little devil child. The design is hollow and lightweight, but it feels bound to crack as soon as it makes a significant impact with a hard surface. But really the only danger with this product came from cutting it out of the package. Always cut away, Alex. Do you have story ideas or access to the other five toys on the list? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Melissa Fossbender and this has been your Engineering Newswire. Come on! What? You know, just get casual. <laughs>